Wish that we could tell stories on the same page Wish that we could fast forward over this phase Wish that we could be like we used to feel like we used to This video was requested by absolutely nobody Except for you two in the back channel. Before I begin this video, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm not a plant expert whatsoever. I'm a plant hobbyist, if you will. I've owned plants for a little bit over two years now. I only really started learning about them about a year ago, so bear with me if I get anything wrong, pronunciations, full-on names. Feel free to correct me in the comments down below. Give me some of that education. Would you guys be interested if I opened up a new channel for plants and lifestyle content? Let me know. Honestly, I spend so much time with them, I feel like my life is kind of revolved around them, not even gonna lie. If you guys like houseplants, you guys will like my houseplant Instagram too, at Domestic Jungle Ho. So anyways, this video is going to be a houseplant collection video because I have 218 plants. Let's get started. Okay, front entry, let's go. Right in the center in the back is a ficus lorata. This one looked incredible when I bought it, but I was also a terrible plant mom at the time. As you can see, it's made recovery on the top, but it's actually quite stringy. So I just repotted this guy. I do need more soil, I just ran out. So what I'm actually doing is I'm starting to propagate this, but I made a cut right there. So what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna grow a new shoot off the side. In front of that is another ficus lorata. This one is doing so much better. Here I have a yucca gigantea. These are absolutely impossible to kill in my opinion. A Dracaena, and we got another Dracaena. Over here I have a Birds of Paradise. I have more succulent type plants up here because it does get really hot, especially in the summer. This is a string of pearls, another string of pearls, another string of pearls, and lastly a string of fish hooks, and it has grown so much since I got it. Now we have this little section on the ledge. This one is my Ming Aurelia. I literally let this dry out for like a month once and it was still doing really good. It very rarely yellows and it just loves the sun. I have a spider plant and it has some shoots over here and it also has some shoots over here. When I first got spider plants, I didn't realize that these were babies. I didn't realize that you can just pot them and they become a whole nother spider plant. I have two Chinese money trees over here, Pachira aquatica. This one is loving life and thriving and just huge. This one I put off repotting for a little bit so it's not doing too well now but it should start thriving very soon. Real quickly, I just wanted to show you guys the music room plants. First off, we have a fiddle leaf fig leaf. I know these don't actually propagate into trees, but JR and I thought it'd be funny to root it. It's quite the epic fiddle leaf fig leaf. Here is a Raphidophora tetrasperma, a Pelia peperomioides, and a Sansevieria snake plant. Next up, we have the hallway. First up, we have a toddler, Monstera Deliciosa. Behind it, we have a very sad Cissus discolor, also known as a begonia vine. I had mealies in this area, so I had to use a prophylactic treatment on all of these plants, so it made all the leaves fall off. You can tell there are new ones sprouting, so it's just gonna take a little bit of time. Begonia maculata, also known as a polka dot begonia. Fairly new in my collection, and I did order it online, so it has a little bit of crisping, but this is actually a really easy care plant. This plant has two stalks, and this is what it looks like in the back. Chinese ever green lady valentine, syngonium podophyllum berry illusion, peperomia prostrata, also known as a string of turtles. I have a propagation station. On the left here I have a tradescantia nanook, and on the right I have a calathea white fusion. This was a recent online order and all of the leaves were brown and crispy. It did start growing two new leaves that are doing really well. I definitely thought that it was done for as soon as I opened the box, but it's actually doing pretty well. I have another raphidophora tetrasperma. It's actually a little too long for this shelf right here. Syngodium podophyllum pink illusion. I have two zebra plants over here. These are my first ones that I got. A calathea ornata or a pinstripe calathea. Here's an anthurium. Had it for maybe three to four months and it hasn't really done anything. A synapsis pictus. It has two vines growing out of it. This is my first ever Pelia peperomioides. I used to have this in the kitchen where it got tons of light, but I realized it doesn't love that, so I moved it here. I think it's doing a lot better. It's definitely growing really tall. This one is a peace lily and it just flowered a bunch. Hanging on this shelf right here, which looks crazy 
crazy wacky. This is a Monster Adinsonii. I believe this is the wide form. Look at how absolutely massive and crazy this leaf is. I actually got this at Home Depot for $18, which is so crazy. Propagating, I just have a cutting of my Monster Deliciosa mother plant. In the center in that clay pot, I just have a golden pothos. On the end is my ZZ plant. I've had this for two years. Yet another wacky one. This is another Pelia peperomioides. Look at how absolutely insane, how many babies there are inside. It's actually so crazy and coming out of its pot, I need to repot it like ASAP. Y'all already know, another Monstera Deliciosa. Pretty sure this is a Philodendron Xanadu. Another Monstera Adansonii. It is producing these cutest little leaves. This one is so cute. Here I have a Calathea medallion Rosia picta. Unfortunately, this was a victim to the mealies in this spot as well, so it's not doing too great. I'm determined I can bring it back. Just a little four inch gathering of lipstick plant cuttings. Fishbone prayer plant. We got a dumb cane in the back. Another Syngonium podophyllum pink illusion. Aglionema crispum. Look at the leaves on this guy. So beautiful. So this beautiful vining one is a Cissus discolor, also known as a begonia vine. One of my newer plants, and it was just starting to thrive. I was actually admiring all of the new vines that was growing out of it and just looking at it so proudly and then I realized it had mealies. Because of the mealy treatment, the leaves are a little dry and definitely not up to par as it was before, but it's still really pretty and it's definitely going to come back, so it's okay. My dog just threw up, but we are back. Hidden behind it is a Marble Queen Pothos. Here I have a Pearls and Jade Pothos in way too big of a pot. Lastly on the shelf is this Lemon Lime Philodendron, which is doing so amazing. I'm so happy about it. Onto this lounge part of the living room. Starting with this one, this is a Ficus Lorata Compacta, which I didn't even know was a thing. It is a fiddle leaf fig, but it is compacted, so it has small leaves and it just grows really adorably. It's leaning a little bit, so I need to fix it up, but isn't this just the cutest thing you've ever seen? We have a Majestic Palm. I've had this for some time. I just cut it back. This one is a Japanese Aurelia. It actually just recovered from some spider mites. So this funky guy is an original Mr. Kate plant. It actually just got severed by my boyfriend doing some yoga. <laughs> but this is a Crassula falcata. Fishtail palm. I just cut this back. It was actually so tall hitting the ceiling. It was really hard to bring outside to water. So I just chopped it. It actually looks a little funny. I cut it way too short. Up top, I have a lipstick plant. I am so proud of this. Schlafera arboricola. Had this for two years. It was so small when I first got it and it is just growing so well. I just straightened it out with that bamboo pole so it's growing upwards now. I got a quite sad bromeliad back here kind of hiding. This is also a plant that I've had for a couple years. I had when I didn't know how to take care of plants. I don't want to throw it away. I don't want to give up on it. I'm kind of just hoping that one day with time it'll look really good. <laughs> Lemon lime dracaena. It's actually in a four inch pot and it looks huge. Ficus elastica rubber plant. This one is a ruby. So you can tell it has some pink in the leaves. It is so, so pretty. I think it looks so good in this golden pot. This is a cutting from my mother plant, Monstera Deliciosa. It just grew a brand new leaf and look how fresh and adorable it is. Hi, Kingy. This one is a variegated Schlafera arboricola umbrella tree. Just look at how absolutely adorable these brand new little babies are when they come out. Once they get mature, they sprawl out like this. Look at this adorable pot. <laughs> this is a pot from Planta Planta. I will link their website or Etsy down below. Now this plant I actually thought was maybe a ponytail palm or some sort of variety of ponytail palm, but it's actually called a Calabanus hookery. I probably said that wrong. It is kind of this grass type plant that looks like it's supposed to grow out of a rock. Now we have this whole back wall of plants. Let's start on the left, shall we? First one we have is this Chinese evergreen Aglionema red emerald. If you like really easy care plants, this is the one for you. It looks super fake, does it not? Chinese evergreen Aglionema Siam aurora, also known as as a red aglionema. This is one that my friend Daniel got me. We got another striped dracaena. This is a little bit of a newer edition. I've had this for maybe two months and I got this from the Rose Bowl flea market. Now for the glorious shelf. Lemon lime maranta prayer plant. A zebra plant. It's been thriving ever since I put some rocks in the soil to retain a little bit of moisture. It's just growing a whole bunch of new leaves and it looks super succulent and healthy. Kind of hidden back behind here is a striped dracaena. Up top I have a golden pothos which is an original Mr. Kate plant as well. I've it back so many times and it's just growing long again for now. And obviously right next to that is another golden pothos. Under that is a Raphidophora tetrasperma. As you can see it just has these little holes through the leaves and it just looks like 
little monstera leaves. Another sad bromeliad flaming sword. This one I've had for a couple years and I just didn't know how to take care of it back then again. Next to this pothos, another pothos. What do you know? Another golden pothos. Peperomia hope. This is so, so satisfying. These leaves are super thick and juicy. Very, very succulent like. Just had this one drying, but we have an air plant. This is a baby monstera deliciosa. Probably rotated actually. It's kind of reaching for the sun in the opposite direction. Ooh, she is shining. This is a Sabu Blue Pothos. I ordered this one online quite recently and it's growing a whole bunch of new leaves. I repotted it and it's been loving its pot and it looks super cute. This is a Ficus Audrey. I'm excited for it to grow. It kind of just reminds me of a fiddle leaf fig. Another Pelia Peperomioides. I got this one from Ralph's actually, which is a grocery store. And it came in this really cute marble pot, which I'm so excited about. It has some babies in it and it's just doing super well in this spot, but I just realized that it is super leaning on one side, so I actually need to turn it around. So don't make fun of this plant, but this one was my first pothos I ever owned, and I'm giving it a little bit of a makeover right now. This funky one is a Monstera adansoniae. It's a little funky, but it's filling out in that middle part where it's missing some. Right here, once this grows out a little bit more, it should start falling down and trailing. Yet another striped dracaena. Hidden back here is another Raphidophora tetrasperma. Got an adansoniae leaf stuck in it. Whoa, how similar do they look? But yeah, this is the first one that I had and it's growing really tall and it's so cute. This was super short when I first got it. Okay, so this is supposed to be a Monstera Albo Forsigiana, which is basically a white variegated Monstera. Now, as you can see, this leaf, you know, beautiful, white. Second leaf, not so much. Third leaf is actually brand new, so it's kind of hard to see the variegation, but there is some. I didn't do proper research prior to purchasing this, which I definitely should have, but apparently if the stem doesn't have variegation, the plant isn't gonna have variegation. Did I low-key get scammed? Maybe. Now, this cute little section right here. Again, these pots are from Planta Planta. This one is a Japanese boxwood bonsai tree. The seller told me that he had been working on this plant for a long time, just cutting it up, making sure it stays bonsai. So I think I should probably do that too and give it a little haircut very soon. We got a Dracaena compacta and a Schlaffera arboricola. I am in love with this one, Ficus lorata fiddly fig. It is just so juicy and producing these very even thick ass leaves and I'm just in love with it. I think it's loving the spot. On this coffee table we have a ponytail palm in a four inch pot. It is just absolutely adorable. And then to the left of that is a Sansevieria snake plant. This was actually one that Tarte sent over in a PR package and it's just been thriving. Produced a pup which I propagated and I have in the dining room. A ficus elastica variegata. So pretty and I can't wait for this to get huge. <laughs> I can explain. Okay so this was a tapioca plant. It just got severed two days ago by one of the dogs. I'm not sure if it's gonna actually continue to grow but I just ordered two more to replace it because it was so cute and I'm so sad about it. Now on to this section of the living room. So beginning with this little display right here, I definitely want to add a lot more plants to it, but I haven't really figured out a good layout. We have a Marble Queen Pothos, yet another Syngonium Podophyllum Pink Illusion, Syndapsis Pictus, also known as the Satin Pothos, which it's actually not a Pothos variety. I bought this in this four inch plant and it was kind of cut up, so it has new nodes growing and new leaves coming out of it. Over here on this plant stand is the Hoya Obovada. Not a super fast grower, but definitely very satisfying considering these leaves are succulent and thick. Under that is a Dracaena compacta, Peperomia copperata rosso. It flowers and has these funny little antennas that it grows out. Another Peperomia variety, this is the Peperomia angulata. If you get really close, it looks like watermelons. It looks like it's flowering right now as well, which I didn't even notice until now. Look at it! Next to this is a spider plant. I have a couple spider plants that aren't curly and the curly ones just, you know, they just hit different. They're cuter. This beauty right here is the Aglionema commutatum, also known as the Chinese evergreen Maria Christina. Look at this thing. It is freaking beautiful. It is just always giving out new leaves. Now to the right of that, I have this Sansevieria, also known as a snake plant. I believe the variety is a Whitney. I've had this for about two and a half years now and it is getting tall. I believe there's a photo of it from a long time ago that I'll insert right here. This is one of the original Mr. Kate plants. Totally almost forgot about this plant right here. This is another Syngonium Ficus lorata, aka Fiddly Fig. This is one of my newer ones. Um, it's not super duper happy, but it's still growing, so I'm kind of just gonna leave it here because I really like the spot. This is a red Aglionema, Aglionema Siam Aurora. My friend Daniel got me one of these and I love them so much, I got another one. Look at these juicy new leaves coming out. It's always just giving new leaves. We have the gorgeous, beautiful Monstera Deliciosa. I think I got this one at Home Depot. This is the newest leaf and it is so beautiful. Tallest plant in the house award goes to this ficus 
Marotta. I got this one at Home Depot as well. I actually think that after a couple more leaves grow, I'm gonna cut the top of it to propagate it and just start allowing it to grow you know, sideways. Now on to this corner of the living room. First plant hanging is this golden pothos, which I actually propagated and potted myself. All of these were just cuttings from another pothos on the shelf. This one's definitely special to me. It feels like an actual child. Over here, I have a lemon lime dracaena. In the center, I have a Tradescantia zebrina. Um, it has these purple leaves underneath, and then on the top, it is silver, especially if you put a light to it, it reflects. To the right of that, I have this golden pothos, which I've actually attached some of the legs to this hook right here. Once it grows more, I actually want to attach it to that one, and then to that one eventually, and just kind of grow it out super duper long, but obviously that's gonna take a lot more time. Kind of hidden back here, I have another Marble Queen pothos. I propagated this one myself, so it's still super tiny. This big guy right here is a Yucca Gigantia. I've had this for about two and a half years again, an original Mr. Kate plant. Hanging right here, this is a twisted lipstick plant. Right here, I have this three-tiered little macrame hanger. On the top, we have this Philodendron Brazil. The leaves are little hearts, and they are super cute. This is a trailing plant, so it's gonna vine out really nicely. I think it's currently just reaching for the sun and just growing in these random directions. In the middle, I have a golden pothos. This beauty should not be on the bottom because it's actually such a cool plant. This is the Hoya Carnosa Crinkle 8. My best friend Nicole told me that it's called a Crinkle 8 because it has eight crinkles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these leaves are thick and juicy. It looks totally fake. A little bit of a slow grower, but I have noticed all of these new leaves since I've gotten it, these four right here. Over here, I'm propagating some succulents. Honestly, a lot of them are dead. I don't know how to take care of succulents. Okay, so this part of the fireplace, golden pothos, but of course, this is a very sad cutting. I'm kind of just letting it do its thing and just grow out. We have another Syngonium Pink Illusion. It is growing a new leaf right here, which is so exciting. This is a six inch plant that I actually combined two four inch plants into. To the right of that is another philodendron. This has gotten so long since I've gotten it. A Schlaffera arboricola, also known as an umbrella tree. I have so many of these in the house. They are so cute. I waited for the best time of the day to film this guest room. <laughs> now these plants only get this lighting for about 15 minutes. So let's get to it. First plant over here. This is actually a baby Monstera Deliciosa, Pelia peperomioides. Y'all already know, Schlaffera arboricola, a Peperomia obtusifolia. It is thick and juicy. It is shiny. It is cute. It's growing a baby leaf. Over here we have a little mini Ficus lorata. It is a baby. What do you know? Another Pelia peperomioides. This one I got from Trader Joe's. I remember because Trader Joe's Pelias have a look to them. Jade Pothos. It is beautiful. I think this is the one and only Jade Pothos I have in this house. It is getting bushy. The last plant in this guest room is a beautiful one. This is a zebra plant. If you miss a watering by like one day, it will have this browning on the leaves. This whole plant will flop over. This is not one to like being neglected. Actually probably the most difficult plant that I own. Now on to the guest bathroom. I recently just hung up these three right here. Up top we have a neon pothos, a Hoya Carnosa porcelain flower, a lemon lime maranta, also known as a prayer plant. This one is doing absolutely amazing in this lighting. Um, I moved this over here because it was getting a little bit too much sun in another spot and it just loves this spot in here. So this isn't actually artificial lighting, it's a skylight, so it does get some diffused light in here. This is a Peperomia albovitata rana verde. I had this in the kitchen for a bit, but it seemed like it was getting sunburned as well. It's totally vining. I didn't even know this plant could do that. This is a Diffenbachia, also known as a dub cane. It did take me some time to figure out how these work, but now that I figured it out, it is doing well. Next to it, I have this Ficus benjamina, also known as a weeping fig. When I first got this, I put this in the kitchen. All of the leaves fall off immediately from sunburn. The bathroom has been rehabbed for it, and it's been doing super well since then. A little bit of a shad guy right here. This is a pinstripe calathea, a calathea ornata. I got this at a time where I didn't really know about calathea and how to take care of them. But looking at the roots, I just realized it's growing two new nodes, so it's gonna be producing new leaves soon. This is my magical little Calathea corner. Big boy in the back is a Calathea medallion. So this one Nicole gave to me because she couldn't really figure it out. I think it really loves this bathroom lighting. Since then, it's grown three new nodes in the soil, so it's gonna be doing super, super well soon. This one is another Calathea medallion, just a four inch little baby guy. This one is another Maranta prayer plant. It has some 
variegation on it and it's super beautiful. This little cutie in this four inch pot is a Calathea elliptica. Fairly new and I ordered it online so it has some damage on it. This one was also an online order. This is a Stromanthe Trio Star Calathea. So these are the only two plants I have in my master bathroom. These were initially in the bedroom but it was just getting way too much sun in there. Five leaves of a prayer plant. This was once full but it just kept getting sunburned. To the right of that is this Calathea Warson Whiskey Eye. It also was once really sad but it's doing a lot better now. I've had to remove two plants from sunburn so I should probably put this in a smaller pot. It's still doing pretty good so I'm just gonna keep it up there for now. But just you wait you guys, these will thrive soon. <laughs> Now this is the bedroom. First plant in this bedroom is the Dracaena. I do have another one in this bedroom. They were overwatered when I was on a trip. Plus this one constantly gets smashed into the drawer. I've just had these for so long and I know I can revive them. So I'm just working on them right now. A lot of the new leaves look super duper healthy. Over here I have a peace lily. I also think it just had too much sun on the other side of the room. So I moved it over here quite recently. We got an air plant. Back in this corner I have three hanging guys. Constantly propagating them. They always grow back super long. This one hiding in the back is a golden pothos. This one in the middle is a pothos enjoy. Right here is a spider plant. This one grows straight and it also produces a bunch of babies. Another ficus lorata, but of course this one used to be next to the TV in the living room. An OG Mr. Kate plant. It actually grew so, so much. I'm gonna let it grow maybe another couple feet before I cut it and propagate it. I also have it propped up on a stick so that it grows a little straighter. Over here is my Monstera Deliciosa mother plant. I've taken about 10 cuttings from her and she has been severed, but she actually just keeps giving out new leaves. Every time I cut her, she just grows a new shoot really quickly. On top of my makeup collection, I have these three beauties. First one is a Philodendron Brazil in a four inch pot. Then we have a Syngonium Podophyllum Gold Illusion. This one is a variegated Monstera Thai Constellation. It just gave out a new leaf that is still kind of light in color on the wall. I have an air plant, another Dracaena, and again, this one was overwatered, so it's kind of just recovering right now, a Neon Pothos. Quickly, I just wanted to show you guys the Spicus Lorata cutting. I just cut it off the top of one of the fiddle leaf figs in the front entry. I'm so excited to plant this. Then I have this corner right here, a four inch Marble Queen Pothos, and this large basket is actually just a six inch Pothos. It's not that big, but it kind of just makes it look big in this basket, which I got from Urban Outfitters, by the way, if you guys were wondering. And then in the back is a Pothos Enjoy. Back here is a little sad of a corner. These these two I moved into the master bathroom because they were getting a little too much light. This is where the peace lily on my dresser used to be. So I actually need it to purchase new plants for this room. This one is a baby fiddle leaf fig. Underneath there's actually even smaller baby fiddle leaf figs. Now we have this dining room. In this corner here I have two hanging golden pothos. This one on the left is so freaking long and it's growing all the way to the ground. Literally, if I stretch it out, it will touch. I don't want to cut this, but I think I need to. I think if I do propagate it, I'm going to end up putting back the propagations into the dirt just so it gets more full and more epic. This one is an Aurelia Fabian. Hidden back here is a Monstera Deliciosa cutting from my mother plant. As you can see, it has a new leaf coming from the back. Another striped Dracaena. This is a newer purchase that I just got from online and I definitely don't need any more Dracaenas, but obviously I love them. Then there's this corner of the dining room. Up top is Apelia. I believe this has so many names. Silver Sprinkles, Glauca, Golden Pothos, Biggest Arrowhead, Syngonium Podophyllum. I'm definitely in a phase right now where I love Syngoniums. This one is an all green Tradescantia variety. These are really fragile and if you like hit it the wrong way, it's definitely going to break off and fall. But they also grow really fast so you can't really complain. The most glorious Maranta that I own. Starting to fall and trail a little bit. But just look at these leaves and these veins. You can feel it. It's just so thick. Yet another Monstera Deliciosa cutting from my mother plant in my bedroom. This one started yellowing randomly at propagation, but once I potted it, it stopped. And it also grew a brand new leaf, so I think once it grows maybe one more leaf, I'll just cut this one. So now we have the dining room table display. We don't really eat too much here, so I don't really mind having some plants on it. Ficus retusa, also known as a ginseng ficus. You guys are gonna laugh. When you turn that ass around, she thick! It just looks like a pair of legs and a nice fat ass, and I am just in love with it. How can you not buy that? 
It also grows quite fast, way faster than I expected. I love it, she's fun. I have a gorgeous neon pothos over here. What is this one called? What is this one called? A Peperomia Ruby Cascade. The undersides of the leaves are this beautiful ruby color. At least it's supposed to be. <gasps> are you not healthy? Are you okay? Madagascar Jewel Euphorbia. Okay, so behind that is one leaf of a croton. I don't think it's gonna survive. I think putting it in this black pot where it doesn't really get light was a bad idea. Behind it is this massive Raphidophora tetrasperma. I just pruned it and took off all the sheets and just made it look really pretty and it's been love and life ever since. We have this corner over here. Starting on the ground is this burgundy ficus elastica rubber plant. I've had this for two years now. I probably repotted it about six months ago and ever since I did so, it's growing super fast. These are two brand new leaves that just grew in so they're a little red right now. A Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. These are so beautiful. Look at these leaves. They have some pink in it. This is a glorious Serapeggio Woody Eye String of Hearts which has gotten so long millimeters from touching the ground. If you guys love trailing plants and you want them to grow really fast, get one of these. Just know that they love sun and they really need some sun. I have another Chinese money plant, Pachira aquatica. These grow very similarly to the Schlaffera plants where they grow like these little umbrellas. But with maturity, it ends up sprawling out and just looking like this. This is a fast grower. You can just see how many brand new leaves it has grown. Last part of the dining room right here. On the ground, I have this beautiful croton. I love crotons. They remind me of Okinawa because there's so many crotons in Okinawa. Up top I have three Syndaxis Pictuses. In the back this one is actually the Exotica variety and it is so gorgeous. It is silver and has these huge leaves. Then there's a little six inch Syndaxis Pictus and here is a four inch Syndaxis Pictus. I have these plants all right here because this part of the room gets a lot of lighting. We have another string of hearts right here. This was actually a four inch string of hearts which I propagated over a year replanted, twirled back up so that it can get thicker, and it's just now starting to trail down. So I'm really, really proud of this one. In the mason jar, these are also propagations from that same string of hearts that I'm gonna end up putting back into here soon. This one is a Dishidia ovata. Just had to move it real quick so you can see the epicness of it. This looks like little watermelons. This is such a satisfying plant. So this was a baby when I bought it, and it's just shooting out these new vines, and I think it's almost time to hang up very soon. This is a Hoya Carii Vergata. I heard that these don't actually grow. I heard that these are kind of a scam, but I'm not really sure about this one. I think it just depends on the seller. So I'm kind of just waiting to see what happens. Um, behind that is a Chrysula Calico Kitten. It just got done flowering, so the flowers should probably fall off very soon, as you can see. But the flowers were beautiful, and I probably should rotate this because it's also growing sideways. <laughs> this crazy one in the back is an Albuca Spiralis, also known as a Frizzle Sizzle, and this stick thing in it was a flower that actually just got done. Don't know if I'm waiting for it to fall off or if I'm gonna cut it off, but I'm kind of just giving it a few more days. When this thing flowers, it is amazing. It smells just like vanilla so strongly. I've had this for about a year now and it's flowered twice. This cutie right here is a Peperomia clusii folia. It's a slow grower, but it's so cute and I don't mind it. Now right behind that is a Senecio macroglossus vergata, also known as a wax ivy plant. Now I've had this for about two months and it has been growing like weeds. Look at this vine that is trailing all the way up. It's literally made its way up and around my ginseng ficus, which I need to detach very soon. I got another ginseng ficus. This one does not have quite thick of an ass. We have a sad excuse of a golden pothos. I potted this when I didn't really know about propagation, so it's kind of struggling a little bit, but I'm trying to revive it. Excuse the nasty turtle tank. It is cleaning day today. But this is a Peperomia tetragona, and when I purchased this as cuttings, it only had the second layer, but it just grew a brand new layer on both of them and it is so beautiful and I probably should rotate it. Yep. Cardi is saying hello. Hey bitch. Now we got this section over here. In the back is a Peperomia obtusifolia vergata. I also have cuttings over here that I'm propagating. We have lipstick plants, we have pothos, we have tritoscantia. This is a spider plant that I propagated from a mother spider plant in my bedroom. And this is the Sansevieria that I propagated from my tart Sansevieria. And this is the severed tapioca plant that I was talking about. Now for the kitchen plants, I have this little nook. 
I'm kind of wondering if I should make it an herb garden area, but I also just love the way this looks, so I'm not quite sure. First one in the back left corner is a desert rose. I purchased this because it has such a stubby, chunky little trunk, and I thought it was so cute and had so much character. What I didn't know is actually these flower and produce the cutest flowers. I got a cute little succulent right here. I've been able to keep this alive for a couple years now. Then we have a peperomia frost, which if you guys can tell, it has this white kind of silver frosting on it. This is the flocked Christmas trees of peperomias and it is so cute. This guy is a Haworthia retusa star cactus. This one actually just got done flowering. It was super tall and really weird looking. I have a little four inch croton, a Schlaffera arboricola, another peperomia obtusifolia, two two inch watermelon peperomias that I got online. Not sure if I want to repop them into one just in case I want to give one away, but they're doing well on their own anyways. In the back over here, I have this croton that my boyfriend got me for my birthday in August and it's just love and life. I've definitely had some times where this thing completely fell over when I neglected it and didn't realize it's come back and it's grown a bunch of new leaves as you can see. In this mason jar, I just have one cutting of a peperomia watermelon that fell off and it's rooting and it's growing new leaves. So this little forager is actually a ficus elastica ruby rubber plant. This is another watermelon peperomia. It wasn't doing so well when I purchased it, but I knew I could bring it back. So it's doing a little bit better now. In the back is actually an agave plant that my boyfriend brought home from work. It was in a tiny little dentist paper cup and it's grown crazy huge except for the fact that I dropped it and a couple of the leaves fell off. It's gonna grow back no matter what so she's fine. Now this one here is actually just a cute little selection of succulents that I got from my local nursery. Now this is a string of pearls. It is absolutely loving this spot getting plenty of sun on the top and on its leaves. So it's a little cloudy of a day so it doesn't look too bright but this usually gets tons of light. This is a string of dolphins. Just another Diffenbachia. I realize these don't like sun so I had to move it a little bit back in this room. Did you like it? Was it long? I don't know because I didn't film it yet. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. Again, do you want a second channel? Because I'm really torn on uploading on this channel or starting a new one. Feel free to follow me on my plant Instagram as well as my TikTok because I'm kind of obsessed with TikTok right now and I'm about to make like a bunch of TikToks tomorrow. So do it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Wish that we could be like we used to feel like we